so i came to know that some students find it difficult to understand this graph i think okay so which means so i told you uh, what is mean by an inelastic behavior and what do you mean by a viscoelastic behavior okay what was an elasticity time dependent elastic behavior isn't it which means uh, when a material is uh, strained to a certain level of plastic deformation and upon removal of the load uh, the elastic strain part which recover completely or uh, which recover immediately but the strain remaining is supposed to be plastic strain but it's not completely plastic strain depending upon the type of metal and the temperature small amount of plastic strain will disappear with time not all only small amount and that plastic strain which disappear with time that that time dependent elastic behavior less the behavior of what the plastic strain the time dependent elastic behavior of plastic strain why it is called elastic behavior because it, it regain back with time that is elastic behavior right elastic behavior the original when the load is removed it regain back but say ivada plastic strain will disappear with time okay that is called inelasticity Uh, metallic materials in the case la do usually negotiate here na padu because it is um, very small the value is very small i mean the uh, rig, uh, the um, the amount of plastic strain disappear with the time is very small okay parsha idu polymeric materials in the case lo wood human tissues ഇതൊക്കെ വളരെ സിഗ്നിഫിക്കൻ്റ് ആണ് ദ ഈ ഓൾസോ എക്സിബിറ്റ് എ സിമിലർ ടൈം ഡിപ്പെൻഡൻറ്റ് ബിഹേവിയർ വിച്ച് മീൻസ് ദി എമൗണ്ട് ഓഫ് പ്ലാസ്റ്റിക് സ്ട്രെയിൻ റിക്കവർ ഡിസപ്പിയർ വിത്ത് ടൈം ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് കോൾഡ് വിസ്കോ ഇലാസ്റ്റിസിറ്റി ഐ ഇസ് ടോൾഡ് യു ഇറ്റ്സ് എ പ്രോപ്പർട്ടി ഓഫ് മെറ്റീരിയൽ ദാറ്റ് എക്സിബിറ്റ് ബോത്ത് വിസ്കസ് ആൻഡ് ഇലാസ്റ്റിക് ക്യാരക്ടറിസ്റ്റിക്സ് elasticity we already seen that it's nothing but the uh, result of stretching of atomic bonds along crystallographic planes in an ordered solid while viscosity is a result of diffusion of atoms or molecules inside an amorphous material i mean the viscous el elastic materials have elements of both these properties and exhibit time dependent strain now if you look at the plots if you this actually uh, the this these two are the plots for viscoelastic materials look at the stress versus time stress versus time you can see that uh, how this stress varies with the time ningal kariyam how what will be if you if you remember the uh, stress strain curve for a mild steel you know how that would be the sorry the stress strain curve you know the trend i mean you may not have been uh, imagined the stress time curve isn't it this will uh, this would be the trend of stress versus time curve for a viscoelastic material okay viscoelastic material now what i would like to convey here is look at the strain versus time this curve is an indication of loading with the time how the loading trend changes with the time and here this graph shows the how the deformation trend changes with the time the deformation is nothing but the strain isn't it because the change in deformation by original deformation that strain okay that is why it is called a deformation curve now 
the continuous line shows the trend for a viscoelastic material so this would be the trend of a viscoelastic material what would be the elastic material you can see that this would change like this and what is for a viscous material you can see that it changes like this okay so now our elastic material is now we have one a little application select it you can see that after this time after this time you can see that there is no the material won't get strained which means what would be material strain in the line in the atom and then it gets fractured all right material yield to change in the lab number under the little around the guiding on the car isn't it I mean there are two possible ways for the elastic stage to end either by fracture or by yielding but in the atom he selected the elastic material and this number you know here a time going in a line the strain if you look at this train value is zero other some in and in a take a culture viscous material could add a angle this is a viscous material in the trend to control viscous material and we is in the last trainer look at the strain compared with an elastic material after this point you can see that the strain is continuously increasing and after even though after this time you can see that it maintains a constant strain which is uh, higher than this value kind of strain kind of about it that is strain uh total strain dog on the particle in a normal elastic material or tidy him up you can see that you will get a better strain value for this elastic material either when i am going to for example blend this elastic material with this uh, viscous material i will get a um, better strain either and the material could be strained out good and strained out on or you know in the toughness value good um and in the impact resistance good um it can store more energy which mean which mean it will not fracture uh, at the point for example elastic material you would have no fracture i can do the angle it life little more get extended by adding a viscous material okay that is the relevance of viscoelasticity thank you i hope you understand it for any clarifications we can discuss in the next interactive session